And now a new venue, so we'll let Google Earth lead us in. On the Jersey Shore, south of New York, Manhattan, the Statue of Liberty, Asbury Park of Bruce Springsteen fame, we will find Seagirt, New Jersey, with a big brown patch that's the military training center for the police academy, the National Guard, etc. And there is the patch of green that draws us all like moths to a flame. It's the Green Gables Croquet Club. We're there in August of 2023 for the Mid-Atlantic Regional U.S. Rules Croquet Tournament. Loretta Cooper is the tournament director. The tournament manager is Ann Letty, who's also the club president. Our videographers are Paul Newbecker and Cecil Creasy when Paul is playing. And as always, we want to thank our sponsors, Chris Barley, the United States Croquet Association, where you can find everything you want to know about this wonderful sport, and Don Oakley's Croquet Store, supplying the equipment needs of beginners to world champions. And now the first flight final. Well, not really, but... It's a block game, but the outcome is the same as the final, so we'll pretend that's what it is. Cat Robertson, a five handicap from Palm Beach in the NCC. Uh, she won the block competition at 5 and 0. Oh. She's taken on Michael Jerry, who finished block 3 and 2, but he got by George Clive the third, who was second in the block when they played in the knockout. And so these two are playing in the final. Michael Jerry is from the Rumson Croquet Club, about 20 minutes north. Oh my gosh, I thought Joanne was going to tear her hair out. She's going to board for Jane and Susan. They played the Rumson ball this year. Oh, Susan is beautiful. The competition in first flight has been very close. Cat, for instance, won four of her games by one who another by two one by three she did win a couple with big margins of 15 and 11 but mostly she's been prevailing in very close contests I love it. That's called a snuggle or a cuddle in golf. Okay. Looks like she's checking to see if they're in contact, but it doesn't really matter because there's no penalty for double tapping in the outcome. Yellow reply. I didn't watch you play. Just, I think I hit, I saw you miss, I got five foot. I think I hit like four or five game winning shots and then just couldn't, couldn't run hoops for my life. Terribly unlike me. Sometimes I get the wicked itis, I feel like. More important thing was Mike made zero 
Yeah, they jump started. Yeah, they jump started. I mean, I'm, I'm through the stripes. You're doing anything hurt better. You just broke any hoops, you didn't stop any hoops, you just. No mistakes, so you didn't really give me a push. Did you make the ball? What? the shot and then I missed a two footer from in front of him. I think he's trying to block black shot on the hoop. It's very hard at 90 degrees from this distance. Plus, if he gets it, then black can clear red long. It might have been better to either to clear black or just set up deep and let black take the hoop shot.
the outfield. Got it. Notice how that dog never moves? Ann Letty, the club president, told me the club was named Green Gables because the home where it was started up in Spring Lake had Green Gables, but I'm sure it was a tip of the hat to the kids' book series, too. Well, there was a dog in that series called Dog Monday, which waited by the train station for his master who went off to World War I to come home, which he never did. They should call it Dog Monday. It doesn't move, of course, because it's not a dog, but it still needs a name. Interesting idea. She hits one of the opponent balls. She can use the other one to get back to hoop four, but if she misses, she sets up a three ball break by a croquet out for the other ball. So. In fact, with Black maybe two turns from getting in, she needs to stay as far away from those opponent balls and her hoops as she can. Even that setup might be a little risky. Good choice now would just be to pass, leave yellow right there wired from blue, and let red make the hoop off 
yellow because black isn't going to come in before the this is something you tell beginners never to do get dead on your partner in order to put it in position unless of course it's partner dead or maybe three ball dead he's no beginner so he must have a good reason for this probably something like he didn't want to put pressure on red to have to clear both balls after it made hoop two because black's about to come in something like that Only an hour left. <laughs> Is that really what the clock says? An hour? And now that deadness comes home to roost. So they must have started their clock late because I've been rolling for 20. Alas, there is no remedy for that, except if you're not double banking, turn the stripe board around. And if you are, put those boards far enough apart that it's harder to get them confused.
you were to rush yellow out of bounds here with a nice straight row K and a long follow through, red would follow and end up out of bounds right next to yellow with no deadness. It's a shot worth practicing. If those balls are no more than a foot apart and ideally a little bit less, it works great. shocked when you peg out before I did. I was like, what's going on? Here comes one of those prioritization things on crook case drugs. He doesn't really care what happens to blue. In fact, he could just leave it there and do a nice takeoff and make sure you have a straight rush on black back toward the south. Because what he really wants is to send black to red. Maybe tricky now. Thank <laughs> you. 
second time, it's fine. Yeah. side of the hoop. This next decision by Cat may seem a little aggressive on the surface, but she's got no good shot on red or yellow. She can't set up at six or just join black because red is ready with a break using yellow. And if she misses black, it's a free shot. She goes to the boundary. And she hits black, so now she can go use red and yellow to get her break going. It's not easy though, because now she has to get to red first. I see no reason why she shouldn't shoot at red, but she wants to be sure she hits something. see me a lot because I had surgery on my eyes, both mm -hmm. eyes. Okay, I just okay. went to the doctor and had it all checked out. Guess what? I can read the newspaper oh, without so cool. I can see TV. I can <laughs> next thing is to come back and play croquet and beat you guys. Uh, well, well on a good day. <laughs> my, my, my game is rather erratic. I'd like to. Yeah, I 
I don't have any problems. Yeah, I I'm a great player until I have to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> if I talk well, about him, I'm really good. The strategy is terrific. The strategy? Yeah. Okay. Like a Hanna. Find out his name. Erie Lacahana? Something like that. Erie Lacahana, That's Jane Helms from Oklahoma City over on the next court. She has very nice swing mechanics. And oh, she oh, is she a good shot. Oh, awesome. The fact that they're both making oh. a lot of shots like this with minimal oh. pace is a tribute to the quality of the lawn as well. I only have a picture of Dennis Laddy on a mower out here. I don't know if he's responsible for it, but somebody's doing a good job. Karen. I don't know if this is why, but why sound she doesn't stalk at all. Matthew can get away with that, but the rest of us shouldn't even try. Blues on the boundary behind that post. So I have my U.S. Open hat getting ready. To from where? From the U.S. Open. From the U.S. Open. Oh, from what course? What a shot. It's a Fila hat, too. I love it. It's a fine. Let's go in behind the hat. I can't do it. Okay, you can do it. So. All right, it's nice. Right. Um, the brain of the Southeast Asia, they did so well. They walked in Southeast Asia. 
be nice to get yellow involved here. If she'd rushed black three or four yards deeper, she could have sent black to yellow while she went to clear red. Or she could go get yellow with blue now and then come back and take red out of position. Win. Yeah, I said, did you win? Did you place? Yeah, and two. Two and one. Oh, one, two? Yep. Oh, another sandbagger. Yeah, well, then I got Jim over next, so we'll see. Sounds like somebody got beat today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well, how many games did you play today? Two. I don't know why I asked how you did the first time. Ask that young man to you, right? I think his foot, I think his foot might still be sore from kicking my butt. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Did I do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's me. It's yeah. me. Okay. How are you? Hey, good. How are you, John? Good, good. Chuck said, who's this young lady over here? Great distance on the danger ball red, but blue back to black now would guarantee that red shot was really long. And give black a two ball break for the short shoot, four, five, six, and one back. No pressure here. Yellow is also for four. It's clean and right next to red. This is cool. He could send red to five and get his break going for yellow now. But because black is the spent ball and the danger ball blue is a long way away, down between six and one back, he can also do it just by taking both these balls to four, get clean with yellow, and then put yellow at five and let red take the break. The advantage, of course, of doing it with yellow now is that he could then incorporate blue into the break and make it a four ball break. Paul Newbecker's out to watch. The 43rd parallel is the border between North and South Dakota, but he's wearing it because he's from Buffalo. And 43 North is an economic development outfit that Paul worked with that put on a croquet event. And of course, 43 North refers to the latitude of Buffalo. When I got over there, I saw that angle. What? So when I got over there, I saw that angle. Hey. 
Yes, sir. Would you like to start? Oh, sure. Uh, I'll keep it aboard. I'll keep it Oh, you are? Yeah. I'll finish up for you then. Oh. God bless. Keep the faith. We got all that. Good luck. You just lost your clock. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. Is the clock running? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Because I had shut it down before. If you had a rush on black toward blue, that would be great. Now he could just send black to red and park yellow by five if he wants to. But he's got the bit in his teeth and he's going to run with it. Tomorrow, JB and Kristen are playing. You would usually send black to one back there, but this actually will still work in a ball to ball break because he can always make six, leave blue on the right side of six, and then okay blue back out in the middle of the court, send it to two back and make one back off line. Maybe. Yellow's dead on black. Black only. Yellow's dead on black only. Okay, gotcha. And now blue. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, you guys keep me straight. We will, we will. I have difficulty seeing black and blue, so. Not a problem. I like the stripes on the ball stop. Oh, yes. Very nicely done. You can't miss them. You're an artist. <laughs> Except they wear off so fast. Do you know where the extra part would be to work this year? Oh, yes, I do. What would you do without <laughs> me around here? here? Please may have it. <laughs> no, <laughs> give it back to me. I want it back. I want it back. How's everything going? Really good. Are you on top of everything you would ask, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a dog's morning, huh? Why don't you put it right here in the chair? Was. You, you got to watch that. this guy. He's pretty amazing right there. Paul Newbecker from New York City. Well, uh, not really New York. What's, what's his name, Becker? Westchester. Westchester. Newbecker. Newbecker. He does some pretty magic stuff out there. Which is like lose my like lose my last game. Uh, well. <laughs> well, but that's why we love Crooked because he's got the he may not be quite your age, Chuck, but he's close to it. He was playing when I started in New York.
This might have been better on a boundary, guarding against reds, setting back up again. She put black right where red wanted it. When you change your mind, you have to back up, stalk it, start all over again, not just pivot and hope. He knows she's going to clear blue. Just taking yellow to red up on the boundary. Behind two back is another option. Anybody know where Carl is? Anybody see Carl?
Now, just to show what I know, she changes her mind, pivots, no stalking whatsoever. And does that. But just because you're talented doesn't mean that in the long run doing it correctly won't improve your results. So there. Notice that red is dead on yellow. And she's going to try to use yellow to block red's shot on black. Pretty ambitious from that far away. But actually, even if she doesn't get the block, it won't be a double target because red's dead on yellow.
Oh, well, she was trying to hit you off. Four minutes, solids. You are, of course, advised in croquet school not to do that with your mallet because you might move the ball and alter its critical position. Red must not be in even near contact with either stanchion or she would have had this one washed. Game time. Oh, I'm sorry. It's time. Blues. Solid. Solid. Yeah, blues Solid. first last. Blues first last. Uh, score is... Tied, I believe. So blue is beginning first turn. Yeah. I don't know whether she hit yellow on the croquet shot or the continuation. Doesn't matter, of course. Yellow's out. Yeah, they're tied, but black is in the jaws of its hoop six. And with yellow dead on blue, he can't just send red to two back or even give yellow a rush to two back because blue will be in the way of the backswing. So red's going to have to make something happen. Stay in. Congrats. 
correct. He's going to try to get it down to red and yellow. There's no reason he couldn't take off from yellow, get a rush on blue to five, because with black in the jaws of six, that would give red a three ball break. Nice idea, put both red and yellow in hoop shooting position, but difficult at best. So it's still a tie game. Now blue and black are up one. Blue and black are up one. So in this proxy for the final, Cat Robertson takes Michael Jerry by one hoop, which is exactly how she beat him in the final, to become the 2023 Mid-Atlantic Regional First Flight Champion. So give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks as always to our sponsors, Chris Barley. The United States Croquet Association, your source for all things croquet. And of course, the croquet score by Oakley Woods, supplying the equipment needs of beginners, world champions, and everybody in between. And that's it from Green Gables on to the AC Nationals just completed.